goal is to get your uh, grassland species of tortoises, like Andy here, my leopard tortoise, to eat a more natural diet, which is, of course, grasses and haze, um, and not the produce-rich uh, diets that many of us have raised them on. So this is uh, pelleted orchard grass and timothy hay. Easy, big girl. And as you can see, hopefully, she is a big fan of it. Now this is what I give her when I can't get her outside to eat the grass in the backyard, which she devours. So the whole point of this video is I'm going to, with this little bit of leftover stuff I have here, I'm going to show you how I'm attempting to get the two baby leopard tortoises I have, Mary and Pippin, to transition from um, mainly produce, collards, turnips, romaine lettuce, to uh, a more natural diet until I can get them outside to get some grass. So, and of course it's messy. But like everything, let's watch Indy Chow down for a second. Um, you can also mix, I've, I've mixed uh, fresh pumpkin in with this stuff. I've uh, Missouri, I've moistened it and mixed it in with it. So you can kick, kick it up a notch. But Indy takes it just fine. Again, it's, uh, those are orchard, orchard grass and Timothy hay pellets like you get at a feed store. So let me go show you how I'm going to use that little bit of remainder of it and put it on some romaine lettuce to entice the hatchlings to uh, to transition over to mainly this hay and grass diet. Just some uh, romaine lettuce. One way of doing it, I'm just going to dump it in there with the remainder of the Timothy Hay, Timothy Hay and Orchard Grass Juice, trying to get it all mixed up. And really I think what this is doing is getting them used to the smell, because obviously hay, grass, the pellets smell entirely different. And very little smell, I guess, coming from lettuce or collards or turnip greens or turnip greens stink. But, so get them used to it. Get them used to eating it. They can't eat the, the green stuff that they like without getting some stuff that they may not be too crazy about. Get them used to the smell. And it may take a while, but if you can get them to have the better diet while they're indoors. The best diet is outside, obviously, grasses and haze, outdoors. So, let me wash my hands. Oh, making a mess. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna make a little divot so it's easier for them to get into the food dish. See how long it takes Mary and Pippin to come and eat this. Mary's in the foreground, Pippin's in the background. at all. So whether they like it or not, they're getting some grass and hay in their diet.
Of course, you can supplement this every now and then with uh, some calcium and D3 or a good multivitamin. Make sure they're getting all the nutrition they need while they're kept indoors. Come on, Mary, get over here and eat. I don't want to stop the video until I got both of you eating. Well, uh, I got this little surveillance camera because I did put uh, just the pellets with a little bit of Missouri mixed in with them as their diet yesterday, and uh, they both did eat. They didn't eat all of it. All the Delta, all these greens will be gone. But uh, I will show you that uh, my I have been somewhat successful getting them to eat the, the grass and hay. But that batch from yesterday had a little bit of Missouri mushed into it, and also had some uh, calcium and D3. So I'll show you uh, just a real quick clip of that. That's all she needed. He needed. Not sure. There you go. Love it. So real quick video I just want to do for you guys on this fine Sunday just to uh, highlight how I'm trying to get the baby leopard tortoises weaned over to a more natural grass or hay diet while they're kept indoors obviously when the weather permits uh, I will have them in a secure pen outside with you know the backyard grass readily available to them so but if you guys have any questions and I'll update periodically showing you how this is going when they can eat just plain moistened pellets the way Indy does, I will be happy and that will make up the bulk of their indoor diet. Um, I still give them produce as a treat because I love watching them eat. But have a happy Sunday. That's it for now. Thanks.